While this camera might look like it adds a couple of years of age to my face and maybe a couple gray hairs, it's not the camera that did it. It is this. Check this out. Uh, I don't know when this happened, uh, but I can tell you it definitely did. And with the rain and leaving the car outside a little bit, because I drive the shit out of this car, I found this beautiful, wonderful uh, artwork all across my entire car. Pablo F Picasso must have left his work all along my beautiful Diablo. You don't notice it until it starts raining or there's dirt, but look at that. That is officially my first key mark on my very first car. It happened somewhere out here in Los Angeles. I don't know when, because obviously I just finally noticed it and it's in a really nice area right now, but look at that. It fortunately, you might be able to hear that a little bit. It might pick up on the radio or the uh, microphone a little bit, but there you go. You can hear that. Yeah, so it, it's certainly in enough to cause pain. And yes, it's not just one spot on the car. It's the gift that keeps giving. Look at that. I'm purposely having a very shallow depth of field so you can see it. Uh, and it goes on and on and on. And you think, oh, that's great, Rob. It's, it's only on one side of the car, you know, starting somewhere over here. And then uh, obviously where I just started was back here. But no, no, they, they decided that it was cool, hip to go both sides. They didn't do anything on the rear of the car, which is kind of funny. But they definitely followed up their work on this side as well. Thankfully, it's not as hard. Now, what you're hearing me is defeated. I'm not exactly a, a happy person. Because the whole front of the car, the, this whole front is all expelled. And I didn't have a chance to do the rest of the vehicle. So, shame on me for forgetting to do the rest of the car. So I guess I guess that is a welcome to Los Angeles sort of uh, marking. I'll take it as such. But uh, first thought I, thought I was wondering is could it be buffed out? Even Erica was asking, can it be buffed out? Sadly, no. At this point, it is past the clear coat. So if you were to buff it out, you would actually have to take down a lot of the protective layer just to get it flat again. And uh, that's unfortunately not gonna be the case. So in this beast back here what, what's gonna have to happen you're gonna watch this in another video is a friend of mine uh, Charlie actually did this to another friend of mine's vehicle is reapplying clear coat to that specific area and then sanding it flat so we're gonna do that little adventure together because it is not past the color layers thankfully I mean a little bit in that really deep dark spot and if I think about it enough I'm gonna be upset but other than that it's not far enough to really cause uh, long-term damage but you sure as hell know what I'm gonna be doing as soon as this is fixed this car is getting expelled the rest of the way because clearly a key uh, say they trashed the expel that would be great that'd be fine I, I'd be okay with that I mean I love expel but I would be okay replacing that unfortunately uh, this is a lot more than that so like I said I'm gonna just take the, this in stride uh, I hope that the person didn't know who I was. I mean, I get it if they did. If they knew who I am and they keyed my car, you could at least, uh, I'd rather you punch me in the face. I'd prefer that over a keying my car. But uh, I, I suspect this car was just uh, a nice little target for them to hit. So, uh, welcome to LA. <laughs> Master Detective here noticed something off camera and I want Ace Ventura here to tell me what she just found. Yeah, so I'm about 5'6", and this would be my height if I were to key the car. My hand relaxes much lower than that mark, so you'd probably have to be like at least, you know. So she's saying there. it's definitely a, a very tall woman. Or man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, Wonder Woman, like Just an somebody Amazon. taller than five six for sure, at least like three four inches taller. Okay. At least. So if we know anybody that is. Unless they're like legitimately like, purposely like holding their hand higher, which is. Yeah. So you know what that means. We're looking for a male. Approximately five eight to six one. That should narrow the field down of who did this to my car. If you know anybody that fits those that description, in LA, uh, go ahead and report them to the authorities. <laughs> but no, that's actually noticeable because what's sad is look at this. Look at this. On my own hand, I'd have to flick. I'd have to flick that wrist a little bit. Just a little, get a little flick of the wrist. Mine's still even shorter. Okay, so the guy's probably taller than me. 